Hello, family and friends. Welcome into Spiritual Nourishment. I am your Shaman Empress, a.k.a. the Shaman Hummingbird. All right, so <clears throat> don't argue with me in the chat. Don't argue with me in the comments, please. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn because it. I got to do a job, okay? Now, this channel message, usually, you know, when we get <coughs> channel messages, it's usually, you know... <clears throat> I like to say directly from your person, right? But this channel message is coming from a karmic. Damn it. <clears throat> My throat shock question is that I got on here is like going, uh, wow. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. Some of you guys could have been Jerry Springer fans. Rest in peace um, to Jerry Springer. Rest in peace. You know, we should respect to the dead on our channel. Damn it. Um... This message is coming from a karmic. Why do I say that? Because of the channel message that I got is, He's my you made a head on once, but I got him all the time. And it's like, I can barely get through my throat chakra. So this person is feeling like this, but they're not talking to you. You have no idea that this person may even know about you. <coughs> But it's almost like there's this film of my throat chakra. Now, I'm going to burn some Paolo Santio because, you know, I don't like shit like that. Okay. So, my hunting skills for this message is off. And it's all simply because of how this person is feeling about you. Okay. They feel like this person is theirs. He's mine. Yeah, like. You, this could be you, maybe you had an experience with somebody, maybe you had a one night stand with somebody. It could have been a one night stand that led to the three couple hookups, couple shookups. I don't know. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But you obviously have an effect on this person. Some shape, weight, or form. Because it's alarming to this karmic. And the karmic is like, look, I don't care how you had them, when you had them. Which I have had what it is. But that was that one time when y'all had that either that night, that experience. This person is mine. This is, could be somebody that kind of want to like fight you for this person. For this person's energy and intention. But you have caught this karmic's energies out because this person... And you are connected. You have affected this person. Um, this could be a twin flame journey. This could even be a make to your soul um, journey. If this karmic is doing any kind of spell work, verbal, mental spells, that will always backfire. Why will that always backfire? Simply because you and this person share the same soul. So it's almost like they're doing it on them as well. <laughs> Partly. That could be confusing you and your person. Drawing friction also between you and your person. But in the same way, intensifying the spell work. Or this could be being done on your end. Take it how it resonates with you. <clears throat> He's my I made a head on once, but I got him off time. You can't sleep at night. He's mine. You met a head of once, but I got him all the time. Go, go. How it go? Please go dry your eyes. He's mine. That's a very old school song. <coughs> I got him all the time. Okay, come on, throw chakra. Come on, come on. That was a damn it moment. Get over it. It was only for one night. Oh, yeah. He's my I met a head of once, but I got him all the time. You can't sleep at night. This bitch is being smart. Damn it. This could be a man that's being damn smart. It. Go and dry your eyes. Go dry your eyes. Get over it. It was only for one night. Oh, yeah. Child, 
Now, you might have to cut your bitch out. I don't know. Because somebody here could be feeling their self. Because they feel like wh wh whoever you are to this person, they got this person. They got them all the time. Or they have this person. I got them all the time. Mm. Now, I'm going to have to look up. You guys know I pull everything from the universe. So, I'm going to, you know, how I'm hearing it. It could be um, the lines might be off a line or two, a little shuffle. But, you know, well, I will be, oh, child. Four cups and an ace of pentacles. I will, guys, will be letting you guys know about it. Uh, the artist, you know, who it comes from. Um, some of you guys were born in the 90s and the 80s. 70s and the 80s. Yep, two of cups, the Herman in reverse. Shit getting worse, honey. Five of swords and a high priestess. Um, similar energy came out in the you versus them spreading. Mm -hmm. So, we got, um, they've been having me use my crystal wand lately, child. You know, real white witch bitch shit. I can't be without my wand, child. <laughs> you already know, honey, why we do it over here. Even if pops, I need my wand. Okay. All right, because we white witching over here. I can't talk about everybody else. Okay, but we light workers over here. Let's shine some light on this. Now, let's get into this. Okay. Now, um, this is a... This could be an earthbender to Saurian Capricorn Virgo. Cancerian, happy birthday, honey. We in Cancerian energy season, so that you could have that in your placement. Also, take a look and see where Cancerian is in your charts. Virgo energy, firebenders is here. Piscean, Aquarian. We are in that era. Things are coming to like things have been coming um, to exposure here, and that's the thing. See, the, the problem is this person is missing you, and this person is wanting you. Child, listen. That's the truth. The strength card and the ace of swords. And someone here. Oh, yep. I was. Oh, my God. I was just going to say they could tell by the way this person moves. You know how when you know when somebody is missing somebody or when somebody. Someone here could be in an open connection. This could be um, someone here that. you Your person could have somebody that they always kind of keep secret, kind of keep hidden. Uh -huh, but they're like lovers and friends, lovers and homie, take it how it resonates, whether you're a man or a woman. They could even express things that you wouldn't usually, you know, talk to a partner like this, but it's the kind of bond, homie, friend kind of relationship that they have. They might have expressed that to somebody here, and now they realize that is a mistake. Because this person is sending you messages of, he's mine. Or we can say, she's mine. You met a hater once. Okay. But I got him all the time. You can't sleep. And if this is a man or a woman, this is how this person is feeling. Now, for some of you guys, this person got their nerve because they don't have a good relationship with this person. They might not even be on the same page. To have a relationship to speak on some shit about how they with this person. Because they're not, they don't claim each other. This could be that here. But they have a very fond relationship. This person has no rights to this person. And no more than you do for some of you guys. Now you might be acting like it. But this person be over there acting like they the damn ten of pentacles in a relationship for some of you guys. And they don't have that. Yeah, seven of ones. This is also a situation where they might express other things that's going on in their life because they feel like no matter who they have, they'll always have each other. Your person might have somebody, your twin flame could have somebody like that, or your uh, the mate to your soul. So they talk to each other about things. Being truthful, even if it, it causes them the four cups. But see, this karmic is 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 having problems because that means they know some truths about you. You don't know some truths about them, but they know more than about you than you would know about them because of what your person has expressed to them. 
This person could even um, speak highly of you and low of you. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Mm -mm -mm. So let's see what that highs and lows are. Let's get hate on it all and shit. All right. Oh, uh, you know what? Before we do that, let's get into the Golden Girls. I want to see what the sword is. This, the, yeah. This is, yep. Yeah. That's the truth. It's hidden from you. This is someone that knows a lot. Of, yep, they do. For a pentacle. They know about you, honey. They don't like that. This is also someone here that could be, you, you know, giving your person bad advice purposely. But then your person doesn't see it. See, men see things differently than um, women like women would do. This is someone that would know how to speak to your person to do this. What's the Ace of Swords? Let's see what the truth is being realized here. What's the truth? What's the Ace of Swords? Mm. This is your person. This person likes you. Oh, this person's in their feelings because they think you with somebody else. Now, I'm picking up a couple different energies. This person could have started talking to a lover, homie, friend that they have of theirs. Because they feel like you're talking to somebody else. So, they could have opened this up about this person. Ding, ding, honey. That is your confirmation. That's how this whole thing could have started. Damn it. He's my head and what? And they started like. You see, let me tell you something. This is someone I played with reverse psychology. This whole time, they're having a conversation, but this person's also is studying, like, your person about how they are about you. The sun card. They have been getting enlightenment. Yep. Mm-hmm. Six of pentacles. That is not just them that this person could... Because, see, the thing is, you... This person has no... Y'all might, you and your divine masculine or divine feminine energy could be separated. Y'all don't claim each other. Y'all ain't claiming each other because y'all ain't in a relationship. This is not somebody that have a relationship. This is a karmic. This is somebody that they have a sneaky link with a, a connection. So they don't have no claim to them. But because of the history, they thought they could have some claim to them. Now, this is your counterpart. Now, this person feels threatened. They never felt threatened before. Now, they want to send you shots telepathic messages he or she is mine i don't give a f he's on time y'all could never have what we have though y'all could never be with but you could never share what y'all share so this ain't that like that ain't this period five of swords yes the hangman and the story card now, this is someone here that can, like, this is hung up. It, it is what it is. Now, they want to come at you because they feel stuck and trapped with this person in a way they've never sensed or felt before. When it comes to connection, when it comes to their cup, when it comes to their movement. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth with the sword energy. Yeah, death card. Like you are a threat to their existence. Okay. What's why was the two of cups in reverse? What else? I'm sorry. What is the high priestess in reverse? What is that? The seven of swords, yep, in reverse. Hell yeah, and the eight of pentacles. This is someone here. Uh this person could have went back. This is someone they always get back to. This is also someone here, they know no matter what, they got to cut with this person. No matter what, they can connect with this person, tell this person the truth, their book of secrets and how they feel. Their darkest, deepest secrets. They have a trauma bond. Yep, Ace of Cups. They, yep, they do. Knight of Wands. That's what their love is built on.
Now there's a lot of confusion because of you and this person. Energetically, someone here could feel like it, there's a it, you guys could be bad on each other energetically. Someone here could say, I don't care if he's your twin, your boom, I've been here first. I'm not going nowhere, bitch. You're going to walk. Vice versa, man or woman. And you're minding your business. I just want, yep, some of you guys are earth angels. Just minding your damn business. And some of you guys are could even be aware of this energetically. Or this, uh, these messages that this person sends you, this karmic child. What's the harmony, you guys? The Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. It's you, this karmic, and your person. Yep, and the King of Cups. Yes, it is. Yep, Three of Pentacles. You could be Master Number 33. 33 could be your... Um, Angel number here. Three, eight, three. Eight. <laughs> Child, that's your angel number, honey. Let's get that. All right, guys. So as long as you have your angel numbers, you can look them up even single digitally. Some of you guys, this could be 38. Angel number 38 also carries spiritual messages of hope for better days ahead. A reminder that you are not alone on your journey and that your angels are always with you, guiding and supporting you every step of the way. So some of you guys have a lot of angelic energy. You're earth angels. And not only that, for some of you guys, this person is still wishing for better days between you and them. What, um, if this is a woman, you would have to understand how a man looks at a woman. As women, we can't understand that. We fall in competition with one another. Mm -hmm. And this person is falling in competition with you. And it's not going to change your person's perception of you. And this person could have tried to do that a couple times or how they would see women. It could also be enlightening this person on some things they didn't know about this person. Vice versa for women. Okay. Ding, ding. That's your confirmation. It's like you see your level of perception on how you see things. Men don't know what it's like to be women. We They don't know what it's like to... Like, they could talk to us. We can, like, for example, you know, they, they get information from us. They get downloads about us and all these things, but they really don't know how we see and perceive them because they would have to be a woman to do that. What would be some of the things that a woman, the basis on how a man and woman looks at each other, how we are designed to see each other. That's why karmic energies don't understand, like, Oh, he sleeps with me. He wants to be with me. Look at his wife. Look at his empress. Look at her. She might look like this. She don't got this, 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 and that. Yeah, but you, you're missing something. That's why she's ringed and you're not. You're only looking at the sexual appetite of him, but you're not feeding his spirit. You're not feeding his soul. That's what twin flames and soulmates do. You are not fulfilling something that he might need, but you don't see it. You're looking with your physical eye. And that's cute, but after the sex, what we got? We got to make like. We got to make it through fucking life. Damn it. We got to make sure our kids Damn are doing it. good. We got to make sure we together. Insane. We, we got to be examples for our family. Do you do that? Can you do that? Half of these karmas could never compare. Compete where they don't compare. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love you so much. To empresses. And become an empress, you got to go through your own shit. To become an emperor, you got to go through your own shit. You got to heal. Ugh, child.
This is crazy. I did. Let's see this person's expressions towards you. Uh, okay. They said, okay. We're going to see something else. All right, because we're dealing with a karmic in this reading. Let's see what else is going on here. All my beautiful universe and all these spirits. What else is going on that we need to know? There's a lot of pressure. This person could feel like under a lot of pressure. Some of you guys just did a spiritual bath. This could have been under the full moon. And I mean like the real spiritual baths. This could have been in, um, with a, uh, a bowl or some kind of spiritual um, thing that you use. Even if you steam your herbs. Unconditional love in reverse secret. That, well, I came out kind of sideways. But we'll say in reverse secretnicities and telekinesis. This person has been selling telekinesis. Look, this is someone that's been watching you online. Possibly even with the karmic. Mm -hmm. So for some of you guys, you need to be careful of your airways because you're getting energy from this person in the karmic. This is someone that um, plans on connecting with you in the next days, future weeks, or month. Yeah, trash. Yeah, they do. Yeah, look at this. Uh, for some of you guys, this is your your counterpart. Make to your soul. Intervention, rescue others involved. This person is manipulating your... your this is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this karmic energy is towards you right now. I mean, we know. Look at this. <laughs> He's mine. You better have one thing in lane. This bitch is, yup. I just saw a bitch and I just saw the F finger. I just saw a narcissist. What is this karmic energy um, towards the collective? This is someone that could be spiritual. Or all of a sudden they want to act like they fucking spiritual. They ain't. It's because you are. They could even try to start a broadcast. Someone here could even try to copy off you. Told you. And your energy. A straight up fucking energy vampire. Look at this. But ain't doing shit. Laying back. This is someone here that wants. A, he's mine. She's mine. They feel like they can pull your person back. Because of the history they have with this person. Mm -hmm. Red flag. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And this is someone that definitely trolls you. So don't believe. Yep they do. They troll you. They could be jealous of you. You guys could be both into spiritual things, some kind of influencer. Someone here also um, pays this karmic pays attention to your likes, your subscriptions, they said. Someone here could have green hair or green in their hair. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Black square shadow jealous. Let's see what this person's expressions is uh, towards you. This person's expressions. Your person, yeah. They want to put down the weapons that you guys have formed against each other. 20, um, 3, 44, 23 minutes, 44 seconds. This is someone that they want to talk. This could be someone that wants to go out before things um, get any... Uh, they want to connect before there's any more distance between the both of you guys. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they want to give some enlightenment. Give you some enlightenment. Yeah. This person, they do. They think you're a good catch. I mean, you're this person's counterpart. They want to sneak and do this. And look, not only that, they kind of want to brown nose you. Now, there's levels to this shit. I ain't saying they want to just kiss, kiss, kiss you. But they want, you know. Now, this is someone that's been watching you. They could be waiting for a good time to do this. Um, let's see what this person wants to say to you. Now, if you're on here for someone um, from your past, here we're going to get a message. And if you're on here for someone from your future, just know this is what you're going to be going through with this person. You're always in my dreams. When you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You see a side of me, 
others don't and I can't have from you. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. You are perfect and my eyes don't ever change. Mm -hmm. Alright. If this is someone from your future that you're on here for. I'm trying to think of what cards I'm going to use. These ones are showing me. Let's see. Let's get a message. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Endings might bring better beginnings. I cannot make it up. From time to time, we will have a happy ending if you and me both emphasize and love for our true selves. This person you know they could be their true self with you. Or maybe we haven't finished our journey yet in the past life and now we're here together again. They recognize this as a soul connect connection. And that's the problem. This person, this karmic that is sending you this message, the thing is they can't compete to that. Love is still there deep down our hearts and we should definitely spend more time together. They can't compete with that. That it, it's a different it, you, you it, child. They they know they st sit down. Um, that's just what it is. There's some uh, uh these cards. All right, let's get your love oracle. We gonna get these signs and planets, honey. Get you some hot tea on this, child. Mm -hmm, honeymoon. This person is coming towards you. All right. Um, they want a new start. Uh, finances and career. Someone here could be going through some financial. Um, oh shit! Look at this. Express your love. Yeah, make the effort. You deserve love. Show this self here in chemistry. Give this relationship a second chance. I cannot make this shit up. Yeah. Wow. Honeymoon fell out. And look at this. Passions on the bottom of the deck, guys. So. Mm. Okay. They coming to make some shit clear to you. Period. Mm. All right. Child, this is crazy. I, I'm just a stunned. I'm stunned a little bit, y'all, because the karmics, the, it's the audacity for me sometimes. Yep. This is a journey. This person's coming. They're thinking about how to get back on this journey with you right now as we speak, child. What's the sounds of planets for the collective? Venus. Mercury, Gemini, Arian. Love. This person knows that you are their Venus. The planet of love, honey. They have gotten enlightenment from source. You could be connected to a Leo. What's the sounds of planets for the collective? Capricorn. Oh. Oh. Yep, here they come and wanting to message you. Now, this is someone here. Yep, they want to let go of the stress. But the message here, like I said, it might not be... It might be a little strong, honey. With nurture and reverse in messages. Yeah. This is someone here. Um, they, they ready to let go of the stress. But still be very thorough when they speak. Yeah. They, they're coming to explore new things. When it comes to you and this connection. Yeah, they are. Now, this is someone here, you know, they still have some secret stuff. <laughs> but you're a part of their manhaven. It is what it is. They know that. But see, this karmic is what they're hiding. Spell work. Point blank period. And now this person is doing spell work, mental spell, verbal spell, confusion spells. This could be literal little spell work. You could be getting telekinesis messages from this person. It's all alchemy. Someone here could have colorful hair. Someone here could have just drove Uber, got out of an Uber. Uh-huh. Blocked. I just saw a neighbor. Look at this. A harem group of hoes. Nick. Your person, like I said, um, this is not the kind of connection they have with this person. It allows them to do other things. Someone here could be hiding a baby. 
out of country for some of you guys, out of city, out of state. What's the hot tea? Oh, thank you. Yep, lawyer or judge. Yep, I knew you were an earth witch. Light worker, star seed, shamans, mystics. You can't have him and her out of town. I test people. I told you, this person was doing freezer spells to keep this person stuck, not wanting to come towards you. This could literally be freezer spells. Uh, I'm divorced, male hair, male whore, male hair. <laughs> uh, someone here could be getting male weave. What do they call that? Minks. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Minks and extensions. I'm cursed. They playing on your phone. Sexual perversion. Mm. All right, guys. Just be mindful. Um, this is your confirmation for some of you guys. 30 minutes and 44 seconds on the timer. All right, as I say that. I love you all. Stay dope. Be careful. Be careful of your communication, your uh, telekinesis, and your teleports to your person because it is involving a karmic or, if, if not, karmic energies. Okay? All right. Real important. Be in terror before you go. Don't forget to um, connect your frequency and your energy. Like and subscribe and share and comment and down below. Also, uplifting each other down below is how you do that. These are general. They will be resonate with you partly other times fully. All right. Make sure you guys are stopping past. Keeping yourself updated on your spiritual messages and conversations. I love you all so very much. Stay dope. Next video upload, baby. I'll share your name, man.